Hi, I'm Rachel and I'm here to show you how to make my Spice Star Plummy Beetroot Soup, which features lovely beetroots, 500 grams, and the first thing we're going to do is peel and chop them. So you can see I'm having them, then having it again, and then slice, 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 and you've got it chopped easily. And don't worry about that, it comes out with a bit of lemon juice. All done. Now, I like to build my stock into the soup rather than using a stock cube, so I try to do that as much as possible. Um, so I'm gonna put some carrot in to start with because it takes longer to roast. Everything's going in the oven. So I'm gonna add this, and then we're gonna start roasting, and then we're gonna add some celery and onion after. I'm leaving the peel on. It's a nice organic carrot. It's nice and clean. It doesn't need to be peeled. So, just going to add a pinch of salt and pepper. Just gloss it with some olive oil, quite a lot. Mix it up. You can do this with a spoon if you're really shy of pink hands. So, and these are going to go in the oven. So I've preheated the oven to 220, and I've put a roasting tin in the oven as well, which means you're going to get a marvelous sizzle when I put this in. into the oven for 25 minutes. So we're going to make, this is the soup's fun little twist. We're gonna do a little pickle. It takes a few seconds to make and it has a bit of star anise, a bit of chili, some fresh plums and balsamic vinegar. And it's ready in 10 minutes after you make it. So while the soup's cooking, this can be pickling. So I'm just thinly slicing plum. Tumble them into here. So I'm just going to tuck the star anise in there while I finish chopping, so it's layered in the middle. A few slices of chili. Just a little pinch. Tuck that in there. And then pack it in, and all you do is just pour enough to cover. So there we go. Just pop a lid on and set it aside for later. Okay, the beetroot's been in for 25 minutes. We're just gonna take it out and add these lovely things. We're just gonna cook this for five, 10 minutes just to soften it and then everything gets blended up. There we go, back in the oven. Okay, it's ready to be blended. Just scoop it into the blender. Okay. While it's hot, I have some warm water here. So I would start with a little bit of water and just keep blending and adding water until you're happy with it. So it looks fantastic. It's still quite thick. So I'm gonna whisk some more water in there. And I'm also, I'm just gonna let it churn for about a minute or two. because That's when you get the really silky smooth soup. And while it's churning, I'm going to chop up a little bit of chili and then grind the other star anise, and I'm going to add that to the soup while it's mixing up. There we go. Pop those in. Okay, so a little bit more blending. Beautiful, wow. Just adding a little bit more salt and pepper. And we'll pop it into a saucepan and just warm it for a few minutes before serving it up. Okay, we have our beautiful soup here that's been warmed. And we'll dish it out. And so for the little pickles, just put a few in the center and then the best bit is eating. Mmm, can't beat a nice warm soup on a cold day. 